Next, we are going to configure Guinecon services on our EC2 instance. Switch back to your EC2 terminal. Ctrl C to stop the Guinecon testing. Then deactivate the virtual environment. I will clear my screen. I will switch back to our guides on Digital Ocean. Next, we need to create systemd socket for Guinecon. I will run this command to create and open the guinecon.socket file. Type the password for deployment user and press enter. Of course, you can configure the instance to not require password for running sudo commands. Copy this test and paste in the guinecon.socket file. Save and close the file. Next, we will create a service file for Guinecon. Run this command to create and open the guinecon.service file. This time, we need to make some modifications to the file. I will simply use the one that I used on the app server, which is already modified. I will copy this text and paste in the guinecon.service file. I have nothing to change in the file. The deployment username remains the same and the code folder name remains the same. The directories remain the same. Feel free to edit the file to meet up with your instance settings. We can now start and enable guinecon.socket. Run this command to start it and this one to enable it. Let's find out the Guinecon was able to start or not by running this command. Guinecon socket is active and listening for request. We are going to configure Nginx web server to pass requests to it in the next episode.